Hello again, Scapers. Welcome to episode, I think we're on three now. I've already lost track. Let's jump right into the questing. Seventeen defense levels? Thirteen prayer levels? What the fuck? Oh, questing is so good. These guys are gonna give me 600 damage. It's a good thing I brought food. We're be dead. First boss battle. Let's go. And HP levels. I just like doubled my health pool. That's awesome. You didn't like a single hit on me. Alright, now which one do I pick? 11 magic levels. Alright. I love questing. Here we go, big quest, the knight sword. This should be like 20 smithing levels. Yeah, exactly, 20 smithing levels and 800 total level. Let's keep going. All right, that one wasn't so bad. That's the easiest one. It goes down from here, right? Another Crosis Reaper complete. Oh, and another Hunter level. Somebody just got 99 Hunter here. I got two Slayer levels. I got a few Hunter levels. Oh, cool. Let's begin Hunter once I get 75 uh, Hunter. Which, honestly, I could probably get really quick into, but I don't. Uh, 20 Fishing. More Construction. Some Hunter level. Check out the loot. Oh, a reroll token. 
Uh, I'm a little bit far off of from Jamie. Just a little bit. 24 Onyx Dust. I believe that's the first Onyx Dust I've gotten so far. And the Iron... Uh, a page. And some drones. Okay, not bad. It is the first Onyx Dust. Sweet. I am a quarter of the way to my first Onyx. Here we go. Plus 50% Slayer experience from Reaper Assignments. So I'll be getting 30,000 Slayer XP per day instead of 20,000. That's actually... Not as significant as I think it is. It's probably not that significant, actually, because uh, I'm not going to be doing only Crisis Reapers for much longer. I'm already 42 on that level, and I pretty much just started questing. And once I get to Big Game Hunter, then I get quite a bit of uh, Slayer experience, because I need all the breeding pairs, and... Because I'm dumb, and this account is going for True Trim, the Terrace are mall. So I'll be doing tons of Big Game Hunter, hopefully less than Iron Man. Hopefully less. Here we go. And an MQC wreck. And a bunch of summoning XP. Alrighty, level 1 to level 16 summoning in two quests. And now that I've Grant Crabs unlocked. Full Charm, Iron Ore, 7 shards. Easy. Here we go, my first Wildy event. There are a lot of people at this event. This is a bad idea. <laughs> or farming levels. Alright, let's see what we get. My first um, special event. Well, any Wildy event. Very nice. And the other account. Portable Obelisk, nice. It's like number eight. That's a lot of money. Let's talk about these Wildy events, shall we? They got released back in October on my birthday, and they are absolutely busted. You get energies, you get money, you get infernal ashes, which are actually a great way to train prayer because, I mean, just do some scaling and you get a whole bunch of Infernal Ashes. And use that on the Eto Functus, or even just scatter it. I, I don't know. You get lots of XP. And besides XP, on the uh, special events, I really will only be doing the tree until I get my combat stats up. Then you get a very small chance of getting the tier 87 wieldy weapons. That's uh, Decimation, Obliteration, and I forget the third, but the tier 87 wieldy weapons. And a one and never chance of getting the Dark Onyx score. That's uh, never going to happen. The estimated drop rates are one in a thousand. Imagine doing two of these events a day, and it can still take you several years to get one. Several years. Yeah, no thanks. I'm going to be doing the skilling events. That's the divination one, the mining one. I'll probably also do the hunter and the farming one, at least for a little while until I get sick of this. And then, yeah, I'll just keep doing these for easy GP and some Divine Energy, some Prayer XP. Yeah, easy rewards. Let's see what I get this time. Oh, cool, more energy. And half a million GP. Love to see it. Other account got the also energy. And another probably even more important skill and grind that I have not started yet, player on farms. I really need to get this unlocked because it's one of the longer time-locked requirements is to get all of the breeding pairs done. 
There's also a new requirement they just added a couple months ago where you need to do like 700 million herb runs. That's a slight exaggeration, but that's what it feels like to somebody that's pretty much done with Herbler. Anyways, I'm going to train my construction by doing this uh, God Statue monthly, and that should get me level 20. I believe it's level 20 to unlock player in farms. If it's not, then I'll just do a little bit more to get whatever level I need. And I also need 17 farming, which should be pretty easy. I'll just go rake some patches and maybe plant some seeds. So let's do it. That is going to be the end of this episode. Next week I'll dive into play on farms, as well as actually doing some quests. I barely did any this week. Whoopsies. I'll go over my strategy for play on farms in terms of how to spend my beans, how I'm going to get the breeding pairs, etc. It's not super difficult. You could probably already guess, but I do want to mention my plan to how to tackle it so that it doesn't take me like past 120 farming in order to get all of the unlocks and the breeding unlocks. So thanks as always for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. Take care.